The following preview has been approved for appropriate audience. Motion pictures created by Bytes Crafter. Watching videos is advised. Visit our website for more videos. www.bytescrafter.weebly.com Hello guys, my name is Caesar from Bytes Crafter and I think this will be the last part of the PHP MySQL tutorial. Uh, implementation in unity 3d as you can see we did finish the part one until to part part six and we are now on part seven uh, making our PHP MySQL database online in an online server uh, don't worry uh, I found a online server which is free so uh, let's start so let's start by uh, going to 00, zero web host and this is basically a free web hosting server with a uh, uh, PHP MySQL and MySQL control panel uh, so what is good about this uh, 00, zero web host is it does not have any ads or no hidden costs so if you don't have account so you will have a you will have a to pre sign up so after that you can log in and log in so here uh, manage database so navigate into na, na, uh, na manage database sorry so here you only have two databases so it's dep it depends on you on how will you use or uh, organize your database to make it useful so you have two gig of data storage I'm sorry, uh, 1 gig of data storage, uh, maximum of 150 tables. The default uh, database engine is MariaDB, uh, InnoDB on MariaDB. So, what you need to do is create a new database. Uh, you need your database username and password. So, the database name, uh, we will say, we will use the previous uh, database name called the uh, user database and here the username uh, the database username that you use in the local host so you can create a new username for example this is a sample sample SQL for that and create a password uh, for example password one two and then create so by doing that please wait for for the zero zero web host to create a database until this is finished go to manage database and then now it is finished creating the database so we will go to manage database so what we need to do here is to create uh, we can actually uh, create uh, or import the database from the local host but uh, I preferably uh, create uh, we I prefer that we create it on the current database that we are using so for example uh, we say the table name is user info right your user info and then we have I think eight columns and then let's go and this is integer this is bar char or basically a string and let's set that to all string this is the identity for example the identity or the ID we should the uh, username password an email 
first name, last name, gender, age. So, the, the length value. So, the length value, for example, the identity will be the total length, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, it will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, it is 7. 7 length. Like the previous tutorial, and I think it's on part 3. And let's put here the 12. Uh, password is 12. Uh, email will make it bigger 24 12 12 gender is female and male so maybe 7 is a good length then age is only 2 so 1 1 to 99 so here auto increment so the identity will be auto increment for example uh, we set this primary as the primary key and let's go this will be auto increment. The first registrant will be an N identity of zero. The second automatically it will be one. So I, I hope that you get the point. So username should be unique. So the next one will be the username. It should be unique. So no other user username will be used upon uh, uh, the successfully uh, successful registration of the current registrant so let's click unique and let's have an index name of unique and you could also make the email address a unique bar uh, a unique variable but as of now we only need uh, for testing purposes we will set the username as the only unique variable so Let's, you can preview the SQL if you for example you will add uh, you want to create a table using uh, your script you should input this on your PHP script and then let's close that let's save it and it successfully created the database online as you can see so the next part again <laughs> we click on the manage database so it's okay so your new uh, database name will be this string here and the username will be here the local host same local host and the password is the password that you set before creating this database so let's go to upload files so this is your website URL. For example, uh, this is my personal website URL. For example, we uh, you have a name of example tat tutorial. Example tutorial. You input the website name example tutorial. Then your URL will be example tutorial dot zero zero webhost app dot com. So let's go to upload files. Because we have, uh, I think, uh, we have one gig of storage, so we are redirected. So here, it is very uh, tricky. So don't mind this folder. The one important folder is the public HTML. When you go to the www that uh, your or your website URL, this. When you go to that URL, you are redirected here at the index PHP. So, what it basically say, double click, let's double click that, is it will be redirected to the file Syro index PHP inside the Syro. It's a website builder. So, if we go there it will be redirected on the sample website i think for organization purposes we we create a folder called a server and let's create that and we go inside the server and let's go to the server folder 
and let's get all of that uh, PHP script and upload it here it's basically a drag and drop so upload it so now the tricky part is this the public HTML is the default address for example you enter this but if you put your PHP script here you can say uh, you click this we can say that uh, the public HTML for example we, uh, as you can see you have a default uh, if you put the your PHP script I'm sorry if I, I am running out of words but if you put your PHP script here inside the public HTML you should only user for example like that but if you have another folder for example we create a folder right called the server so it will be like this so we see if the upload is finished so it's finished so if we contact that in the web browser for, for example here we can actually now our PHP is now live and can communicate with our database online database here uh, what is that set value error because we did not give the server key authentication to change each of the value so the server name so it's the same localhost and the for the root username, it's not root. The username that you created from the 00 web host and the new password and the name of the database. So the name of the database will be the ID underscore the uh, database name and the server co key code uh, will be the same. And for the URL, it will be changed to instead of localhost, it will be your website URL is slash uh, server the folder and slash the PHP file with the extension that PHP so I think that's it uh, for all the viewers of uh, the unity 3d PHP MySQL database tutorial from part 1 to part 7 uh, thank you so much for watching and hope that you subscribe and feel free to email me for more tutorial and that's it thank you and have a nice day thank you for watching if you like this video click subscribe more to come click here to play this video